Hi guys, welcome to my channel. We're going to be watching Once Upon a Time Season 2, Episode 8. This is called Into the Deep. If you would like to follow me on Twitter or would like to watch the full reactions over on my Patreon, links are down below. Let's get into this episode. The compass, please. He doesn't have it. Yes, that. Well, matters grew complicated. It's eluded me for the moment. The details are a fair bit of a bore. Really? Stealing my protection spell and climbing the beanstalk without me might seem like a bore to you. But to me, it's a betrayal. I was going to bring it to you. Our agreement remains. We are going to Storybrook together. I'll get it back. I don't have time for your games. I've crossed through too many worlds to be brought short at the brink of success. Who was it who bested you? Swan girl. Emma. Rest assured it won't happen again. <laughs> no, it won't. You chose her. And the consequences of that decision. Oh. Uh-oh. Is she gonna rip his heart out? Me now. Go ahead. Try. So brave. No, I'm not going to kill you. I have something far more satisfying in mind. I'm going to leave you here with your thirst for revenge unquenched while I complete our journey without you. There's no need to be rash. We can discuss this. Your pretty face buys you a lot, but not my time. It's too valuable. I can get it back. You need me. <laughs> no, I don't. You've had your chance. Now it's my turn to do this the right way. Well, well, well. He's been abandoned by both. I was about to say, why isn't it glowing? Why did those come out? It's just because they have hearts in them, I guess. She's controlling all of them with one heart? Or just holding one heart activates all the hearts? Confused. The boy you saw in your dream, is that him? Yes. Henry. It was a dream. How could you dream of my son? I have no idea. Maybe it wasn't a dream. What? That room. I've been there. When I told you about it, you didn't say anything. You were terrified. I didn't want to make things worse by telling you I thought it might be real. A room in a dream is real? The sleeping curse. It has to be. I went through it. Aurora went through it. Henry's been through it because I wouldn't believe him. Emma. What else did you lie about? I was... I wasn't lying. I was protecting you. It's going to be okay. We are so far from okay. No. We have a way home now. We have a compass. And the wardrobe ashes are still with Cora. Any attempt to steal from her would be suicide. Not anymore. We can stop her. How? How? I don't know. But I know someone who does. Regina. On the stilt skin. Oh, no. no way. Okay. Well, that's true. Me. Thought maybe Regina might. Talk to him. Now we can communicate. Wait, wait. Mm. That means she has to keep going in that room. You're going back to sleep. Knock her out! Henry! Does it work if... Oh, there you go. I about to say, it doesn't work if Henry's not sleeping, though, does it? Henry. Or can he just go whenever he pleases now? Who are you? My name is Ramora. I'm with your mom and your grandmother. Are they okay? Yes, they're fine. They just want to come home. And they need your help. Okay, so what do I need to do? They're alive! They're alive! Who? Who's alive? My mom and Snow! But was it that woman you saw? Did she tell you this? Her name's Aurora. She said they have a way home, but there's someone in their way. Someone they need us to help them stop. Someone only Mr. Gold knows how to defeat. Who? Your mom. Your mother. I should probably... No, no. Please stay where you are. Whatever she has to say won't be a secret from you. Whatever she wants, she won't get. I'm actually coming about the one thing that might unite us. And what on earth can that be? Cora. She's coming from our land. I need your help to stop her. But she was dead. You told me you saw the body. Apparently you taught her. Oh. 
I thought they were talking about when she pushed her through the mirror. I need to remind you how most unpleasant that would be for both of us. For you. I can handle Cora. That's not how she tells the story. I won in the end. Maybe. But there's a big difference this time. This time, you have someone you care about. This time, you have a weakness. I'm sorry, who, who is this woman? Someone you'll never meet. So you say she's coming. Where is she now? With them. How close are we? There. That looks like relatively safe high ground. We'll set up camp there. Aurora, you'll settle in and find Henry. Get the information we need from Rebel Silkskin. Something wrong? No, she's caught on something. That does not explain your arm. Oh, the burns. What about my arm? The burns you're hiding. I brushed against the poison leaves. You said that this netherworld was full of smoke and flames. Aurora, if that's where you were burned, you should not return. I don't have much of a choice, do I? You're choosing to go in deeper and stay under longer to find this boy. I vowed to Prince Philip to protect you, not to help some strangers find a portal to another land. Well, I was cursed to spend eternity in that horrible sleep. The only reason I'm here is because you and Philip risked your lives to save me. Every day since my waking has been a gift, so let's do something with it. It's my turn to help someone else. I'm going to go back in and find that boy. What do I tell them? Just listen to my bedtime story, and all will be clear. Are we going to find out what happened between him and Cora? Once upon a time, Snow White and Prince Charming needed to stun a very powerful magician long enough to lock him up in a dark dungeon. That was you. They used Cinderella to trap you with a magic quill. Yes, indeed. A quill. And yet, it wasn't the quill itself, but the ink that captured the Dark One. Harvested from the rarest species of squid from the bottom of a bottomless ocean. Impossible to find unless you're a mermaid or me. I have a double private supply in my jail cell. That is where they will find it. The, the ink? So they're gonna try and trap Cora? How? How, how is ink gonna trap Cora? Oh no. That ogre? dream I guess. These are just the the zombies, right? Oh no, the compass! Don't let him take it! Here we go. Take her? I didn't really catch that. She cut its head off. Still in one piece? Yeah, pretty much. They took her. Something something happened. She she got sucked out of there. Oh jeez. Nothing to tell. You weren't my target. The compass? Sad you lost it? I suppose. But now I have something to trade for it. They'll never trade me for that. You might be more valuable than you know. To who? Your newfound companions? You may not know them, but I do. Snow and her daughter just can't help themselves. And what stakes 
do you have in their cause, Princess? It's not as though you travel back with them. Oh, what a sweet, misguided notion. <laughs> Did you really think you could have a life there? Find another prince? You've forgotten Philip already. Philip is in my heart every moment of every day. If there was anything I could do to bring him back, I would. Is that so? What if I told you that when a wraith consumes a soul, it merely travels to another realm? But that soul can be brought back to this world. So what oh, body, though? Stupid, ungrateful girl. I'm not as stupid as you think, nor are my loyalties so easily bought. You can bring me a hundred meals and make me a hundred promises, but I will never help you. Ouch. Tell them. Tell who? Wait. What the hell was that? Cora, we have until sundown to bring her the compass. If we don't, she'll kill Aurora. Give it to me. Hold on, Milan. Just give us a minute to consider. There's nothing to consider. A compass is not worth Aurora's life. We need a plan to get back Aurora and keep the compass. My vow to Philip was to protect Aurora. That promise is all that is left of him, so it shall be done. Hey! Hey! I climbed a beanstalk for this! You go get your own! Give it to me! Mulan! Mulan! Give us a few hours, please. If we haven't defeated Korobai, then you can have the compass. You can't hope to defeat her. We no longer have access to the Dark One's assistance. Yes, we do. How? Aurora's gone. Aurora isn't the only one who's been under a sleeping purse. I can go back to that metal world. The door to that place is closed. You said it yourself. There may be a way. I need to go into a sleep where my natural defenses slip away, where my mind stops protecting me. How? Your sleeping powder. If I inhale it, I will fall into a deep enough sleep that I should be able to do this. I used the last of it on the giant. Then make some more. It's worth a shot. The poppy plant is extremely rare in this kingdom, but I know of a place that may grow some more. It's a bit of a journey from here. Can we make it by sundown? Hurry. I wouldn't be surprised if Mulan snakes that compass, yeah. though, and tries to Let save Aurora. He's gonna need some time to recover before he can be sent back. Out of <laughs> Not the a question. chance in hell. We'd be monsters to even consider risking his life again. Careful with your tone, charming. We gonna do keep him awake forever? Boy, but I know Cora. Without our help, Snow and Emma will soon be dead. Why do we need to send Henry back to that fiery inferno with no one there to receive our message? Because Snow. Because someone will be there. Who? Snow. That's an awfully big assumption. No. No, it's not. She was there once before. She can go back. She can find a way. She will. I know it. And I'll be waiting. You're going to this netherworld? When I face you. How bad could it be? It's not as simple as that. You can't get there. You haven't been under a sleeping car. Well, then put me under one. If we do that, there's a chance you might never waken up. I'm sure I will. When I see her, she'll kiss me, and I'll be fine. Now put me under. I've spent far too much time looking for my wife. It is time to bring her home. Wake up. On your feet. Hurry. No. No, are you here to kill me? If I were here for that, then waking you first might not be the best course of action. Oh! So what did Cora send you? Cora's no idea I'm here. I don't, really? I don't understand. Look, I know you're sleepy. Isn't it obvious? I'm setting you free. What is this? Some sort of pirate's ruse? Cora's denied me passage to Storybrooke and my vengeance. And That's all he needs them. Wishes, starting with a compass. The pirate terms you might say I'm firing a shot across my enemy's bow. You'd risk your life to break in here. Also, you could thwart Cora. I don't like being double-crossed. Now go. But why would you want to help her? Emma double-crossed you. Give Emma a message. Tell her that the deal still stands. If she provides me a passage back to her realm, I swear, I will help her find that dust that opens the portal. Do you really want to assist us? No, it hurts Cora and helps me, of course I do. Is this really him or is this Cora in disguise? Because I don't know what to believe. <laughs> 